Um, Liam, does the 28th of April 2015 r- remind you of anything? Um, no, well, I'm not good with dates, honestly. I'm always, con- I'm, especially as a manager now, I forget my own my own breakfast at times, so <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Well, that was your last victory as a player for Hull City oh, on this wow. ground. What's the difference between winning as a player and winning as a manager for the first time? Um, it's a completely different feeling, um, probably 10 times better. You know, I've been dreaming of this moment from when I took the job to be able to celebrate in front of our home fans. Um, we've had four games in what feels like two years. Uh, so to finally get off the mark, I'm absolutely delighted with. But I would say, I think it's been coming. I think it's been coming. Our performances every single week have been of a really consistent level. The difference was we scored the first goal today. Had we scored the first goal against Blackpool or Sunderland, I think we go on to win those games. So I'm delighted we managed to you know, get the monkey off the back. And, um, and now we can look forward to the game against Cardiff. Two chances in two minutes, and they were both brilliant chances for Aaron Connolly. He's wasted no time in getting up to full speed. No, no. I, but listen, Aaron, I took him off because I was worried about his fitness. He's still not fully fit. He's still not from where he is. So that's scary for championship defences. I believe in him. Uh, I push really, really hard to get him here, and I can't thank Ajin and Tan enough for backing me with him. Um, and if he keeps performing like that, we, we're going to enjoy watching him play every week. Despite having maybe six or seven attack-minded players on the sidelines, either injured or suspended, it didn't. Re- didn't really show today, did it, given we've scored three goals and the manner we played? No, I b- keep saying I believe in the whole squad. You need a squad to, to win games consistently at, at this level. And I think I'm very fortunate that I have a very, very good squad. I thought Callum Alder was excellent coming in for his first start in a long time. Uh, and then what pleases me is when I bring on Ryan Woods or when I bring on Louis Coy or Xavi or Tyler, they're all doing the exact same things that I want in terms of what the first 11 are doing. And that's what it takes every single week. You know, you need a group, you need players, subs to be engaged, and they're giving me everything at the moment. I couldn't be delighted with them. I will ask you for direct quotes, but was the halftime team talk any easier today? No, the halftime talk, team talk is actually harder when you're one nil up because it's a, I don't like one nil as a scoreline. Um, and I said to the players before the game, I want us to think about scoring first, playing on the front foot and being aggressive. We did that. And I said to the players at halftime, right, it's nil nil, we need to go and score and make it one nil again. Um, and they did it. And I was absolutely delighted because sometimes when you haven't won at home for such a long time and you're up, you can take a backward step. We didn't. We stayed positive. We played some excellent football at times. But today was really pleasing. We had the end product as well. A clean sheet as well after 14 games with the ball hitting the back of there. That must be, I mean, Matt obviously must be yeah. absolutely delighted with that. Yeah, we're difficult to break down at the moment. And that's not just the back four and Matty, who's been excellent. That's the whole team. Aaron and Oscar up there work, work their socks off today in terms of pressing, their energy. Ozan worked really, really hard. When you have 11 players on the pitch who are willing to press and fight and run, then it makes it difficult for teams to score against you. And our record... As a team, since I've been in, I think that's nine goals conceded in 11 games. From where we were, I couldn't I couldn't be happy with the group. And also something we haven't touched upon now is the versatility of some of the players. I mean, Elder, the way he's moving in centrally, Slater staying as wide as possible on the left-hand side. Even though not, I mean, Elder was playing left-back, which is his best position. Slater, maybe not. So. Yeah, uh- it's weird. The way we play is different. We have a system with the ball and we have a different system without the ball. I have to give credit to the players because what I'm asking them to do in a short space of time is very, very difficult. But their levels of engagement in training, they're listening every day in terms of the tactical information, not just myself, but Dawes, Justin, give them. And then they go out and perform. It was the same against Fulham. You make changes, the players completely understand the way that we want to play. And that's really important for the club because I want to give, I want us to win every week, of course, but I want to give this club an identity of, of play. And I said as well, you make mistakes. We made a mistake playing out against Blackpool. They score. Today, Matty Ingram plays out. We play through. We find Seri. Seri finds Aaron. We score the third goal. It takes time to build something, but I, can't, I have to give the players all the credit in the, in the world for the work they're putting in. And the man who captained the ship today, Seri. It's, it's only the fifth time he's ever captained a side. How, and yeah. just noticing the way that he's, he's communicating with each other, making sure people are in the right places as well. Yeah. As a, as a standing captain, that's excellent to see that there's more leadership. There is. There's leadership. Alfie Jones has grown. Mac has grown. Louis Cole's outstanding leader. Greavesy. Um, Mika leads through the way that he plays the game. He leads by example and he, he was magnificent today. I gave him a rest uh, towards the end of the game because I turn around, I see Ryan Woods on the bench. He's an outstanding player at this level. So I'm in a really, really good place with these lads. Uh, Mika's an exceptional footballer. His pass for Aaron's goal was that's world class, and that's what he can bring. Um, but we need to make sure that we don't get too carried away, too carried away with things, and make sure we stay consistent with it. And the only question I'll ask for future games going forward, because you've got a lot of injuries and suspensions. Ebi Irwi, for example, wasn't involved today, and you said that he wouldn't be in the build-up. Cardiff, any chances for anyone to come in and maybe have players in more natural positions? Listen, that's my job now because. 
what I want, what I've said to the players, if you play well, you earn the shirt and you win. I don't, listen, I, I will look at the team, I'll look at Cardiff and analyse them. But to be honest, I'm not even thinking about that at the moment. I'm just delighted we got three points today. I have a little rest tomorrow and then uh, work towards the transfer window on Tuesday. Well, Aaron, what a contrast to Friday night's uh, post-match um, interview. Yeah. Two goals. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Um, it was obviously after Friday it was disappointing not to come away with anything. But I said last week if we if we perform like we did against Sheffield United against QPR, we blow them off the the park. And I feel like we've done that today. Obviously, the two goals help, and it's a uh, kind of a monkey off the back with that home form as well that everyone seems to be talking about. But to put on a, a display like that for the fans was really was really good. Have you got any super glue on those boot, boot laces? Because the touch you uh, was had a couple of times today, especially for the chance you had a minute before you got your opener, was exemplary to watch. Yeah, no, it's, it's, the touch was all right, but the finish wasn't there for the first one. But it's not, uh, like I said before, the, the gaffer when I first come in, he said top strikers, they miss chances. But it's about that reaction. And I think he, he, he'll love that because um, that's something he's, bang, he's banged on about for years since I worked under them and played with them the other occasion as well. Um, so to get the chance after and put it away, he'll be hopefully happy with that. And you you was part of a, a team today that didn't have many natural wide players, especially in the attacking area, but there were some good crosses going in there and you was, you know, picking you out in wide areas and Oscar as well. And, you know, for, from a team point of view, how how pleased was you with the overall performance 1-11? to Yeah, fantastic. Like from Matty all the way to Oscar and... Listen, Callum Elder as well, I thought he was fantastic today. He's just, he's just so consistent as well. And obviously, like the gaffer said to him in there, he just does everything right. And I think everyone does everything right on the on the training ground every day. It's intense every day. No one likes losing their small-sided games or conceding at all. So uh, it's, it's good because that mentality goes onto the pitch and you get three points in a clean sheet. And like I said last week, you're looking upwards and not behind. So... Um, yeah, we're still we're still looking forward. There's 17 games, I think, left. Mm -hmm. Our top six isn't too far away, I don't think. I know Liam has spoken about, obviously, the way of playing out of the back to, to get some goals, but that second goal came from a big long ball over the top. Did you expect to have so much space when you took that touch? Um, no, but I think, listen, this, the centre have stopped. That If I could have stopped and then the ball goes through to the keeper, but I, I kind of I knew I timed it well enough. I haven't seen it back. But I'm sure if I was offside, the liner would have put his flag up. So, um, yeah, I've I've worked with with Mika for uh, I don't know two three weeks now, and and I know he likes to play that kind of killer pass. Um, and when I locked eyes with him, I knew that he was going to try and play it. So I just tried to time a run as well as possible. You're certainly making yourself a fan favourite already with these two goals in just three starts. You've wasted very little time in, uh, you know, getting the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, it's uh, that's probably been an issue over the years, um, <laughs> putting the ball in the net. Well, listen, when when you have a manager like that who puts his trust and his belief in you, um, and reminds you that you actually you are a good player, you're not at this level or play that the Premier League level for no reason. Um, listen, like I said, I've I've taken my eye off the ball recently, but. That's, that's stuff that I've had to work on. Um, and listen, the gaffer's been brilliant with me so far. Uh, and it's, it's just good to repay his faith today. But I want more. I want more goals. And I want to I wanna push up to that top six as well. well. Carrying on from that answer, is it his words and detail that are you know helping you find this early form in a black and amber shirt? Yeah, it's just the team meetings that we have and the detail they go into on the pitch. And they make it enjoyable. It's an enjoyable environment to be around every day. Um, listen, when... When he gets angry, he, he can get angry with people, but that's that's exactly what you need in a manager. But he knows the right time. He knows how to deal with certain players or certain people. And listen, he's been fantastic for the football club since he's come in. Um, and yeah, long may that continue, hopefully.